Hi, I'm Tim Nichols at MrMaple.com. Today's video, we're going to talk about a classic red upright Japanese maple, Acer Palmatum Imperial One. And we greatly appreciate you watching this video. Please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and as always, sign up for our weekly emails on MrMaple.com. We add 10 new trees every single Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. They can be something fun, unique, and different, so you're definitely going to want to sign up for those emails. Emperor One is a great Japanese maple. The colors on it are just add so much color in the landscape. In the springtime, at least it has a brighter red going to deep maroon, which it holds extremely well throughout the summer. And fall color is a much, much brighter red. Emperor One makes a nice upright uh, tree, typically reaching about 15 to 20 feet in about 15 to 20 years. So it really gets some good size to it. It's great to use this as a focal point planting because Emperor One is one of those trees that really has such a fantastic majestic shape to it and adds that bright red color in the landscape. A lot of times people will have this out in front of their house so everyone driving by can see it because that red color just really peaks and, and makes you draws your attention to it. Emperor One is extremely, extremely heat tolerant, but it's also extremely cold tolerant because it leaves out two weeks later avoiding later threats of frost. It's a great classic Japanese maple, and we're going to go up here and do an up-close look at Emperor One and the leaves on this. So here you can see an up-close look at Acer Palmatum Emperor One. One of the things I like about this tree is as it matures, those leaves actually get a little bit larger. So it gives a really nice full dense shape to a larger tree. You can definitely check out some of our photos at the end of this presentation to really see a lot more photos of a full-sized Emperor One, and throughout the seasons as well. Now this is a good look at some of our one gallon Emperor Ones, the typical size of our one gallons. This is a great tree for most people when you're looking for a red, upright Japanese maple. Really give this one, uh, this one can handle sun zones five through eight. You wanna give it some protection from the hot afternoon sun in zones nine. But this is a great upright red Japanese maple across the country and it's gonna perform exceptionally well and do really well for you. Emperor One is a selection that was introduced by Dick Wolf or Richard uh, P. Wolf of Red Maple Nurseries in Lima, Pennsylvania. The story goes that he looked through over 200,000 seedlings of red upright Japanese maples and selected three of them, one being Emperor One, another being Moonfire, and the third being Red Baron. Emperor One was really the showcase of, of those trees. Emperor One was sometimes known as the Cassidy tree. It's been known under uh, Acer Palmatum Wolf. And it's also been known under the name as Red Emperor. But Emperor One is, is the true name of this tree. That's what uh, Dick Wolf actually named it himself. This is such a fantastic red Japanese maple to use in the landscape for almost any purpose. It makes a nice mid-size upright Japanese maple that should perform extremely well for you in the landscape. And we've brought you here to one of our gardens that's not quite open to the public yet to see an Emperor One in its full form. So here you can see how it has a really nice upright shape nice dense habit and some amazing amazing red color this is going to be a tree that does extremely well for you in the landscape and uh, i figured why not we'll go ahead and do an up close look at the leaves here as on the larger tree so here you can see some of the leaves on acer palmatum emperor one on a much larger tree and you'll see they actually get to be a lot larger and a little more full than you saw on those one gallons earlier really provides a nice palette of red in the landscape that will really stand out and give you a lot of great color i really love emperor one because it's such an easy, durable tree that will perform well for mostly everybody out in the landscape. And while providing a lot of good color that will contrast well with a lot of other trees. If you're looking for a red, upright Japanese maple, Emperor One is the easy choice to make. It does great when put out in the landscape to provide a lot of red color. But it also contrasts well with some other Japanese maples. I like to pair it with other upright green Japanese maples like a Sengu Kaku. That's going to give you a green color in the spring and a yellow color in the fall, where this is going to be red with even brighter reds in the fall. Fantastic to pair with that. Or something low like a green cascading lace leaf, such as a Veritas or a waterfall, that will give you a green color in the spring and the summer and a yellow to orange in the fall and contrast really well with the red that you're getting off the Emperor One. It's a great pairage to make out in the landscape. Emperor One is a great tree that's going to really do fantastic for most people. Like I said, zones five through nine. Uh, zones 5 through 8 in full sun. It's really, really heat tolerant. And we greatly appreciate you watching this video. Uh, please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and as always, sign up for our weekly emails on MrMaple.com. 
Uh, we greatly appreciate you as viewers and as customers. And always remember, if you want to support this YouTube channel, please continue shopping on MrMaple.com. Thank you so much. God bless and have a great day.